Hello there. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a program that I stumbled upon during my undergrad in my astronomy class called Stellarium. This is it over here. And uh, I'm a big astronomy fan and I really like this program because basically it can be used to see where the stars are. And not only the stars but also see the, where the planets are. As you can see I've set up my location to be in Oshawa, where I am, and this is what you will see if you're in Oshawa right now looking up at the sky. That being said, there's uh, a lot of light pollution from the city, so it won't look exactly like this, but in an ideal situation, this is what you'd see. So we're looking down to the south, and if I uh, rotate it, it can show you where the other stars are. Oh, there's the Milky Way. There's the star Vega. And so, you might not be able to recognize all of them, but if you look here, towards the east, there's Betelgeuse, and there's uh, this whole constellation here is Orion, and the three appear as Orion's belt. And what's cool about this is I can zoom in, and if you actually keep zooming in, not only does it show stars and uh, planets, but also galaxies. This is the Orion Galaxy. And I just I, I thought this was really cool because you can track live where the galaxies are. So I zoomed it out a bit there. As you can see, I spotted Jupiter. So what I can do is I can zoom into Jupiter and it's it's all live with the time. As you can see, they're actually moving. So there's Jupiter obviously and, and it's four surrounding moons that are orbiting it. There is another way though, if I wanted to, to uh, find Jupiter, say zoom back out, and you know, I don't have Jupiter in sight, and I can go down and I can actually search for it. So I type in Jupiter, then it'll find it, and then I can zoom in, and it's right there. I can try another one, uh, why don't we try Saturn? So, I'm kind of confusing right now because basically Saturn is on the other side of the Earth. You can click and see what the planets are. And there's a lot of other features you can do too, such as you can take away the atmosphere. You just click A button, and so this is what it'd look like if you didn't have an atmosphere. So during the daytime, nighttime, this is what it would look like. I just click back on there. Another feature you can do is you can change the date and time. So say I wanted to look at, I don't know, why not, 9.47 in the morning. Obviously, there's not going to be very much, but if I turn off the atmosphere, we can see this is what we'd see without the sun. So why don't we go even a bit later on in the day when the moon is a bit higher to 1147 let's click on the moon and zoom in on it and see what phase we are at as you can see there's only a little bit of the moon illuminated it looks to me that it is a waxing crescent I believe it's a waxing crescent it's either a waxing or a waning crescent yeah because it's the right side illuminated and the sun's on its right side, it's a, it's a waxing crescent. So it's going to get brighter and brighter because we just had a new moon then. There are some more options you can do here. I'm going to turn our atmosphere back on, and I'm going to go back to roughly the time I'm at now. Uh, that's a good time there. So atmosphere is back on. There's some nebula and everything, and what I'm going to do is I can actually turn on. This will show where more nebula are. I can turn on the constellation labels. Let's turn the nebula one off. And it'll actually, the constellations, it can show you what they're supposed to be depicting. So Gemini, Lynx. It's pretty interesting. Or then you can trace them this way, so this is how uh, 
the stars are supposed to be linked together to show what the uh, different constellations are. There are some other features as well. This, this program is there's just so much. You can actually, if you're into looking at uh, stars and stuff, there's a type of mount for a telescope called an equatorial mount. And that's what this button did here, the equatorial and azimuthal mounts. So it, it just changes depending on the type of telescope you have. There's other options where you can actually uh, use, you can switch planets. So you'll be on the moon or you can be on Mars looking at the rest of the sky. So it's, it's pretty good and it's, it's ever so easy to... Uh, download too. All, all I did when I was looking for it was I just googled it and went Stellarium. Stellarium download, there it is. The free program you can download it on Linux, Macs, or even PCs. And it's as easy as just downloading it, installing it, and then you have a full sky view. Like I said, different planets. It's completely free and if you know that uh, you, it's going to be a clear night and you want to see where the stars are going to be or where the planets are going to be, you can uh, plan ahead of time. You can go to that time and plan ahead and you can uh, see what's going to be out there. That is all I wanted to talk to you about today and I uh, hope you enjoyed my tutorial on Stellarium.